hello welcome to jasonnewland.com my name is Jason and this is a free hypnosis session just for you to enjoy and to just give yourself a break give yourself some time out a bit of a rest bit of space and this is the kind of session that you could use any time of the day of the night when you can safely close your eyes because the main thing is that it's your time it's just some space just for you to just let go and kind of deflate in a sense it's kind of like having a relaxing bath but without getting wet if that makes any sense because a good thing about hypnosis and relaxation and in the mind itself is there's a lot of positive experiences that you can have um, that maybe you've had before and you can re-experience those pleasurable feelings without actually doing anything just by closing your eyes and remembering the pleasure that you experienced at that time can actually move you forward can actually give you something something different because you know there's sometimes there's effort involved um, in some things that we do I'm not saying that in a bad way I mean sometimes it's a good thing sometimes it doesn't seem quite as uh, great as other times you know if you've got other stuff going on so the idea that just by closing your eyes and thinking about that thing that positive healthy thing experience event whatever it is can then re-trigger those physical and emotional pleasurable feelings in your body and in your mind there's something quite good about that I don't know about you but there's something quite useful about that to have that ability to to just relax to literally just let go yeah so you may ask how how can I do this or how how is this possible well it can vary depends on the person depends on the situation depends where you were then depends where you are now but something I'll give you an example something simple like an experience when you were maybe lying on a beach or maybe uh, laying down by a pool on a holiday maybe lying in the garden with the sun on you maybe you're in the shade whatever you know situation that you experienced as pleasurable and relaxing 
and then as you think about that experience, that event, that time, something happens. And it's natural, it's not anything that you're trying to cause, not, nothing that you're trying to force to happen, it just happens naturally. Because that's the way the mind works for some reason we are affected by what we think about um, it's natural that it would be the case and it seems quite obvious really um, yeah it's taken psychiatrists and psychologists many many years to really come to that idea and still some will argue about it so to what level we're affected will depend on each individual I guess so just by thinking about that thing triggers something triggers something inside us inside you that can cause a feeling to occur and I guess the the trick, I was going to say the trick, maybe the secret, maybe the... It's not a trick or a secret, it's just being with it. Accepting the feelings that arise. That's all that's needed. There's nothing else required. So that you can re-experience past pleasures. And you know, also let you know there's background sounds here. There may be background sounds where you are. I'll normally mention that right at the beginning, but um, I did it today. So it doesn't need to be completely quiet for you to benefit profoundly from some ideas that may seem so completely simplistic so obvious yet there's other things that you could do other things that you could think about that can make a difference that can change how you feel in this very moment because logically, if if someone was to think about someone was to think about uh, something that maybe had happened in the past that was unpleasant, then the experience in that moment that they're thinking about it would possibly not be particularly pleasant. You know, I've never thought about things that uh, unpleasant things that have happened in the past and felt good about them can't say that's ever happened so logically turn that on its head it kind of makes logical sense that if you think about pleasurable experiences that have occurred in the past then it makes sense really that that's going to have a pleasurable result in your thinking So I wonder, I wonder what you think about this. I wonder what could be different for you, what you could do differently in order to change your life. And when I say change your life, I don't mean, you know, become an astronaut or uh, learning to scuba dive or learning to juggle joining the circus I don't necessarily mean changing your life in some big dramatic way but maybe changing things in a small natural way where you're not actually doing anything you're not doing anything to, to make it happen it happens on its own maybe the only uh, 
thing that maybe you're doing to contribute is you're just maybe directing the traffic in a sense you're like a, a traffic director you're standing you're saying okay go left I'd like my thoughts to be aimed towards um, the holiday I had uh, or aim it towards that wedding or the birth of that baby or you know those kind of things uh, it's can be different for everybody so something personal for you that feels that was just a, a particularly lovely experience so you direct the traffic and you're just basically signposting the the mind to think about certain things so you're not forcing it you're not forcing your mind I must think this I must think that I must you know it's not, no one's saying to you you will now think of positive things you will feel more positive from now onwards and no, you know no one's no one's like f trying to force you to notice the positive aspects of your life and noticing the good feelings that you have it's not about that it's it's about putting the, the signposts up and not forcing the flow but you can change the flow naturally and easily and allow the flow to go that way and it, in some ways you can just sit back and observe it you can notice how it feels being aware of how you feel and there's something quite nice about that I don't know about you but I like the idea of things being fairly simple fairly easy maybe maybe I am just very lazy but on the same side I've never really found it very easy to force myself to do things that I really don't want to do in a sense of forcing myself to think in a specific way that doesn't work for me um, I'm not really big on authority and I like the naturalness uh, in the same way I like the naturalness the progressive learning where the learning about a subject becomes a part of me and it becomes a part of my body and my mind and I kind of I feel part of that instead of um, learning lots of facts and facts and facts and you know being able to regurgitate it out at will because of a memory I like the idea of it being um, just natural Nat for me that's how I am everybody's different and I think and this is just one way of doing it there's lots of different ways of getting to the same place there's lots of different ways of getting that food from the plate into your mouth one of them may be a fork one of them may be chopsticks one of them may be just tipping the plate out one of them may be eating the food off the plate like a dog um, one of you know there's lots of different ways it's the end result still the same but the process I mean for me if I was going to have my dinner and I was going to use chopsticks to eat my dinner today then I would not enjoy the process um, the food would still taste the same but I wouldn't enjoy the food as much probably because first of all I wouldn't be able to get as much into my mouth and also I've spent my whole life using a knife and fork because that's my culture where I've been sort of brought up and I've tried to use chopsticks in the past and I can't I can't it doesn't work maybe I'm just not great with sticks that chop I don't know um, so the process is not enjoyable for me and therefore it taints the food in a sense 
um, and the whole experience is just not one that I would enjoy. If I use a knife and fork I haven't got to even think about the process and I can just eat and enjoy the food and that's done. Everybody's different but I do believe if you make the process easier take away the complications, take away the having to think about what am I doing next, what am I doing next, what am I doing next and allow things to happen, allow the positivity the happy feelings that you have allow those to just arrive naturally isn't that like the best option possible, really? don't you think? because I think there's something quite nice about just being able to close your eyes, relax and just observe those feelings of pleasure arising within you and it may be because you've thought about maybe a cruise that you've been on or um, the some maybe the person that you're married to, maybe the first time you kissed or maybe the first time you held your child in your arms or whatever the situation is. Maybe it could be the, the, you know, the, the moment that you um, graduated from college or university. Whatever. Maybe it's the time that you won the lottery. If that case, please send me some money. So it's you know it's very much a case of it's individual for everyone. What I've noticed is that the technique of just literally laying down or sitting in a comfortable chair, closing your eyes, and just observing the pleasurable feelings feelings of pleasure in your body and in your mind arise naturally they rise easily without effort from you or anybody else it's like a natural process that's there, that's always been there, that always will be there and you've never had to do anything to get that but somehow along the way we maybe maybe we forgot because school generally doesn't teach us these things so that's it really for this session it's a case of just noticing 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 observing 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 the feelings that you have physically and emotionally and not having to do anything I mean there are, there are ways that you can um, entice uh, those feelings to become stronger there are ways that you can talk them into it you can you know put a little carrot in front of the pleasurable feeling and so it will come out of its little hole and give you a visit and you can enjoy some time together. Or you can just allow it to happen naturally and have some trust and faith that you don't need really to do anything by just giving yourself some space and some time each day and just notice the feelings you're having and noticing what pleasurable feelings you get and just being aware of them without grabbing onto them, without trying to hold on to them, without trying to stop them from leaving just be with them, accept them, 
know that they're yours and you're theirs because you're all together, you're all part of one person. And that brings me to the end of this session. Just an idea. Something that you can use, something that you can experience. Pleasure, more pleasure. And let me know how you get on. And that's the end of this free hypnosis session. And don't forget, you can also... Um, watch my video blog or visit my, my blog site which is lifeofabipolarhypnotist.com and my free hypnosis service is jasonnewland.com Thank you. Bye.